The Sense of an Ending is the Man Booker Prize winner novel by Julia Barnes. The story is narrated by 6 years old Tony Webster. He tells story of his school days of 1960s London. There were three friends, Colin, Alex and Tony himself. They met new student, more intelligent, smarter, serious and mature Adrian Finn and highly impressed by him. We cannot avoid English and history classes of Phil Diction and Old Joe Hunt, where, through Adrian's highly philosophical answers, his character is portrayed. There was no major incident in his school days, except one of the students, Robson's suicide. After the schooling, these friends departed. Tony comes to Bristol, where he made a girlfriend named Veronica Ford. As their relationship moved, Tony visited her family in a weekend, where he was introduced to Veronica's father, mother Sarah, and brother Jack. But these ties and relationship did not live long. Even Veronica's mother sent a letter to Tony not to take any shit from her daughter. After the breakup, Veronica had a relationship with Adrian, Tony's friend. When Tony came back to visit his mother, after some time, he got a shocking news of Adrian's suicide. He met his old friends and came to know that Adrian was happy and in love before his death. As time passes, narrative moves faster. Tony married and divorced with Margaret. They have daughter Susie also. And now, after 40 years, he is a retired arts administrator. In a part two, one day Tony is sent a letter from solicitor Eleanor Marriott informing that he had been left 500 pounds and two documents by Mrs. Sarah Ford in her will. One was Mrs. Ford's letter to Tony and other Adrian's diary. He got the letter but diary is missing. It is supposed that diary was taken by Veronica. And now Tony's journey begin to search Adrian's diary and reason for his suicide. In this journey, he feels that he is falling in love with Veronica again. He contacts Veronica's brother Jack and get her email address. Tony emails her about her mother's will but instead of replying favorably, she answers him in two words, blood money. Being nostalgic, he tries to evaluate present events with his memory of past. After some time, he receives a letter from Mrs. Marriott sending fragment of the disputed document, a page from diary telling about some formula. It ends incompletely, as if Tony, but Tony does not get any sense. After his several attempts, he gets a result as Veronica is coming to meet him. She told him that she burned Adrian's diary and she gives Tony a letter. A letter full of harshness and aggregation which he himself sent to Adrian and Veronica about their relationship after his breakup with Veronica. But now he feels remorse and guilt on his act of adolescence. He sends apology email to Veronica but she replies mysteriously. Then, Tony journeys to visit Veronica. In this visit, Veronica drives him somewhere, as if she wants to show something to him, where he sees five people behaving strangely. But Veronica keeps silence on Tony's every question about them. Tony tries to solve mystery. He starts going into some pubs and shops, and he gets success. He sees the same group of people in a pub whom he saw with Veronica before some days. He recognizes one of them through his face and body language as Adrian's son. He supposes that the fellow may be Adrian and Veronica's son. With feeling of remorse, he sends apology email to Veronica and once again she replies the same. Feeling very awkward, one day in a bar, he sees same group, including Adrian's son. One of them, Terry, starts talking with him. 
Tony introduces himself as friend of that young Adrian's father and mother. He also informs that he met his mother before some bricks with whom he saw them. The fellow amazes much. He tells him that Veronica, whom they call Mary, who visited them, is not his mother, but sister. And young Adrian's mother died six months ago. So, now Tony get all the sense. He comes to know why Mrs. Ford had Adrian's diary, why Veronica calls it blood money, what is the meaning of that formula, why Adrian's son is not normal, and what is the damage done by him. But the novel is much more than that. To know the answers of these questions in a deeper level, narrative technique, and philosophical ideas, read the original and enjoy. So, happy reading!